Oh, there's this place where I worked. I've got over 20 years of experience. And they had all these younger people there who didn't have a great deal of experience. And yet they wanted to be in charge. They wanted to be in control. And so they would show me how to do a job. And so I would watch what they're doing and then I would do it. And then they acted like they were some professor at school, as if they had all this great wisdom. And they wanted to keep showing me the same stuff over and over again, so I got it. And then I realized it's, it's not that they really wanted me to do the job, they just wanted control and attention. And, uh, they wanted to manipulate and direct and guide. And if you paid me all this attention when I first trained you, well then, you're going to pay me that kind of attention all the time. Because, you know, I'm important and I'm before you and all of that garbage. You know. It's like the doctor who saves your life, so you thank him. And then a few years later you meet him, and so you thank him. You know, then his kid comes along and he wants to be thanked. Wait a minute here. How much time and attention do people need or deserve? It's like, well, I did this, so, you know, I want to always be energized this way by you. And it's like, uh, I'm sorry, it's not my job to energize you. It's not my job to do that. You want to get energized? You're some kind of extrovert who sucks power from the rest of the environment around you, you know, because of for whatever reason, I'm sorry. That's really too freaking bad. You know, it's like the girl you dated once and then she went and dated somebody and married somebody else and then she comes back she wants the same attention as if when you were first. It's like, ah, I'm sorry, you're a married woman. Get out of my face. You know, hey, things have changed, you know. How much excitement do you want in any one situation? Sometimes I think that's what autism is about. All these extroverts out there wanting time and attention and excitement. And people just get tired, so they stop communicating with them. Because after all, you know, who's going to feed your energy desire? Who's going to feed your drug habit or whatever it is? And when the person doesn't give them that attention, well, then they start beating on them and treating them like crap. I, I mean, they at least...